Come on. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. He hasn't waken up. He hasn't waken up yet. Oh, yeah. Might have. Oh, it's a big, yeah, it's a decent, decent flatty, mate. Oh, yeah, decent, yeah. Nice, nice flatty. Yeah, I'll bring him round. Oh, I've got him on the, got him on the metal vibe. Very good. Uh, just trying something different, eh? You've got us locked off. No. He's not a bad flatty. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. Got a little size. Maybe 50 something, I reckon. Yeah. I'll lock us off. Yeah, lock us off. Bang. Give me your rod. Get, we'll take the bow arm off. Yeah. Two six. I'll get him out of that net. Cause where's, that... where's the rags? <laughs> Two six. I'll get the pliers. The rags are just here, rags just here. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's nice bloody. Yeah, no? where did you? Yeah, he's a good fish. Just he's got him out over there. It's 50 something, I reckon. Close to 60, maybe 60 actually, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, freaking. Oh, now, let's get caught in the... Two six. Get all organised here. I might get you to uh, settle down, pal. I might have get that out of the net. Oh, you bugger. Yeah, that's... That's alright, just get the net. Give me the net. Break me trace. Break your trace. Oh, get the lure out. Oh. 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 No, no, no. Oh. Hang on. Okay. Two okay. six, two six, two six. I'll grab him for you. Grab him around the, down the bottom there. Oh. It's too slimy. <laughs> oh, give us a hint. Now he's got this thing right down your throat, you idiot. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, let him settle down. Look at that. Put it over their eyes. That, that's my new metal vibe I'm trying out. Eh? Um, anyway. You want the lip grips? Yeah, they're just under here. Oh. Put your hands. Put your hands. Nah, that's all right. Nah, that's all right for a minute. Give him a quick measure on. Oh, he, oh, he's starting to bleed. We'll get him, him go. get him back pretty quick. Yeah, put him up. Where's the sun? Oh, that's all right. They're not a bad little flatty. Back. Yeah, we'll just get him back in the water. Oh. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Nice little swim off. Right. All right. What's in here? Go on. What is a squid? I'm a squid. You want to keep uh, it? I dropped him. Oh, bugger. He would have tasted nice. I'm on. Go on? Yep. Dropped it? No. Oh, squid, squid, take it. Take your time on I'll oh, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. I'll get my rod behind you. Okay. That might be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let him. I've seen them do that. How they net it. They get behind and wait from the squirt back. Yeah. Mate, lock us off here because that's the second one we've caught. 
got no squid jigs. Um, oh, mate, he's just going straight in the fridge. Have we got a bag or something we can put him in? Yeah, the lure bag. We've got this bag. Yeah, yeah, let's get him in that. Lock us off here. There's a big yeah, bait school under us. That's why they're here. Look, 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 look. Look at the bait. Look at the bait under us. I like this one. Don't you make a mess. Mess in my boat, you cheeky prick. Nice squid, though. Yeah, mine was probably about that size, too. Uh, a you size. wouldn't believe it. <laughs> I've got that. What's he caught? Here, put him straight in the bag. You're going, mate, you are going to be on the table tonight. He's going to straighten the fridge. Have we got no squid jigs? No, oh, I don't know. There must be some squid here, though. Unless, unless it's the same bugger. I don't reckon. I reckon they're here. I reckon there's some squiddy. I'll just have a throw back here for a minute. What's that, a Vibalicious? That one? You bought another one, didn't you? Yeah, Good fish. Might be another Dewey. Dunno. I just yeah, well, he's carrying on. Oh, it's a nice flatty. Yeah, yeah, nice flatty. Oh yeah, that's it. That's about the size of the one I dropped. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Hang on, I'll steer him around, hang on. I want to get his head yeah, that's alright. Put the net, stretch it, get the net going a bit longer. Hang on, I'll just bring him round here. Nice, bloody. Oh, how old are Triple's all in that. Ah, that's alright. I'll sort him out. Maybe this, this is the spot back out here. Yeah, it just depends, I suppose. Sometimes, Maybe doesn't it? When the currents oh, yeah, run yeah, yeah, he's out of the net. Thank God for that. The currents run and they go, they go up the creek. That's where the bait fish are, but the bait fish won't be out here. Well, there's no bait, hardly any bait fish up there. It is a slow running current today. Like, we're hardly moved. We're out. We are out. I anchored us off here, there. Yeah, but we've hardly moved. I, I threw that back in there, and you know what? I, I just worked that a little different on the way back in. Watch yourself. I'm grabbing that. Oh, get away from my rods. Oh, Jesus. The old back's not the best. Oh, yeah, that's right. I knew he'd get caught on that bit of... Well, there you go. I've got a couple of nice fish on this metal vibe that I'm trying out for the first time. Settle there, settle there. Bad little size. Oh, 
get a quick measurement on this one. He's about, about the same size as that last. Uh, oh, 55, 56. Nice little flatty. A little flatty. Nice little Sydney Harbour flatty. Let him go, eh? Uh. There you go, bud. Look at him. Nice little swim off. Beautiful. Turn into a good afternoon, Anthony. It's a bit quiet for a while. Those metal vibes, you got to um, they're just a little bit different how you how you wind them in. I just let that. I I sort of. Instead of swimming them up and back down, I sort of was just doing a little bit of that and then going back to just go down just back. just slowly winding it, you know. I'm gonna go down the back for it. I'm gonna re rig Have you? Yeah, I'm gonna tangle back in my rod. Have you? Yeah. Why don't you change rods? Right. Yeah, okay. yeah. Get your other rod there. Just change rods and fix the headache when we get home. Yeah. Because we don't have. You know what? That looks like Dickie's old boat. See how it's got the... See this Bertram? See how it's got the windows at the front underneath the deck? They don't... They, they never put them on. Is that, does that say Maluka? Yep. That's Dickie's old boat. Still going. Tell you what, mate. Two more of them squid would be... Whew. Beautiful. One each, right? Oh. Yeah, right at the back of the boat. Good, got a bit of weight too. Good little fish. Oh yeah. Flatty. Uh, I have to bring him in, I think. I'm not worried if I drop him. I'll tell you what, he fought. He fought better than than, than he than for his size, I'll tell you. Uh. Uh. Yon. Yeah. Get behind him the other way. Get yeah, behind him, yeah, he'll yeah. squirt back into the net. No. That's alright. That let him do that. We got him. Please ink come out. Yep. Yeah, well, I've got to make sure I don't hook up and lose me rod. Fish. You want a big one? Yeah. Might have a trap. Yeah, 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 just take your time. I'll bring mine in so I can get organised. That's all right. A, I think it's a Dewey. Is it? Good boy. Yeah, it's a 
he's not hooked very well. Ah, oh, he's only a little Jewy, but he's all right. Ah, oh, he's got that little Jewy. Bring him up. That was a good floody. That's right. Oh, oh sorry mate. I, right. I'm trying to just my fault, my fault. Oh. Bring him round, bring him round. Yeah, listen, you can nearly hoik him up. No, no. Oh sorry man. That might have been me. That's probably me. That's my fault. That's all I, right. You know what? He's going I thought anyway. Yeah, but he's got the bloody lure in him. Oh it'll yeah. come out of him. Oh. That's me. And it's frayed too, probably from the last flat he said, I didn't check it. Yep, yep. That's me. Uh, just lost got, your lure. I've got another one of those. What's yours? Sorry, mate. That's alright, that's me. That's my fault. I, no. I thought, nah, we'll just hoik him in. I should have checked my line, that's it. That's what you see, you always check the line. <sighs> that flatty, that last flatty, see, feel that. Even though, yeah. you feel the end of that. Yeah, he's frayed it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. They rub through too, you know. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry, mate. That's, right. that's my to... fault. I've got another one in here. Give the skipper the uppercut, mate. I'm getting fish here. Yeah, yeah. Alright. We knocked off a bit late last night, so we're here this morning. Just going to clean the fish up, clean the squid up, and have a little feed later on in the day for lunch. So, got a couple of nice flatty, a couple of nice squid. I'll throw the squid over there for a minute, I'll just fill up those flatties up. All right. I do wear a glove. When I'm filleting. Simple as that. One. Just come in under there. Oh. All right. Got my assistant here today, Anthony, young Anthony. Couple of little fillets. I think we're going to make up a stir fry for lunch. Spoil ourselves. We're actually at work today. And here we are, fillet and fish at work. It's a hard life for some, but anyway. You gotta enjoy it. All right. Yeah. The other little trick. Put that out over there. Take your glove back off. Oh, I do here. Been a while since I've done this. Get that skin. I can do this because I got nails, not like someone I know. Just get a hold of that. And just peel it like that. There's one fillet. Got my cameraman here today, young Anthony. My fishing partner. So good day, Anthony. How's it going, guys? We caught some bigger flathead, but we let them go. Yeah. We just kept the loop smaller. Yeah, we just smaller thought, ones. because we caught the squid, we thought we'll catch a couple of little flatties. Yeah. And um, we're going to make a little stir fry up. I'd rather use squid for eating than for bait. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, 
gonna like it too much. All right. Just come in here and pull that like that. As long as you get a couple, a bit hard. Just once you get that skin going, just grab it, pearl it. Too easy. Right. Yeah, we might just go. Top three eating fish, I reckon. Yeah, flathead and squid, eh? Because <laughs> we're getting sport today. All right. We might cut it there for a second. Just give this table a bit of a tidy up and put the flathead in the um, in the fridge for a minute and I'll clean these squid up. All right, we're back here. We're gonna clean the squid up. Anthony's just gonna hold the hose. You gotta have plenty of water when you're doing squid. So what we'll do here. Pull the old head off. I oh, just want him to bust off like that. More meat there. Yeah, we're not going to waste that head, I'll tell you. Right. You've got to have plenty of water when you're cleaning these up. Oh, look at that. What's he been eating? Have a look at that. He's been eating little bait fish. Heads are nicer. Tentacles. Yeah, I reckon the heads are nicer myself. Tentacles are tender. Yeah. More tender. I'm clone squid for a while. Yeah, long time. Let me clean this up and up the weekender and make a pizza, eh? I'll have to do a seafood pizza one time for you. Just put all that skin off again. Like that. Throwing that away. <laughs> hey? uh, that's a bit of food there for us. Right. Yeah. Now, don't waste the heads, guys. Do not waste this, this is the best part to eat. Most people throw this, just throw that in the Yep, bin. they would, wouldn't they? Yep. Mm. I'll pop, pop that beak out. What's his mouth? See there? Alright, give it a bit of a wash. Grab the knife. Just give these eyes a bit of a clean out. Alright, just keep giving it a good clean. bit off the eye. Just 
any hard bits, just pick them out, get them out of that flesh. Sometimes just give these tentacles a bit of a... Oop, broke that one. And I just give them a look. This is another little trick. Just give them a bit of a, like, like a rub. A little head this bloke. All right, now we just get the tubes. We're just gonna have rings. Beautiful. This will make a nice lunch. Hey? Eh? Oh, look at that. We are getting sport for lunch today. Well, there you go. That's how you. That's how you prep your. Give me a look there with that. That's how you prep your. Uh, your squid. Some people cut them into wider strips and then score them. Do the crisscrosses on them. We just thought we'd just do them in rings today. Something different. Well, there you go. We'll cook up a bit later on in the day. Now I'll put these in the fridge. All right, we're gonna make the sauce up for the seafood. For the stir fry. Chop a bit of garlic up. Cup. Chop, chop the garlic up. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of soy. I'll do the chili in a minute. We're gonna put a bit of that kickerman in. Soy sauce. ABC keep back manis. Bit of that. Bit of honey. Chili.
we had to um, do this on the back of the truck because it's pouring rain outside. It's just cleared up a bit for five minutes. But just finished washing the boat. Yeah, a little bit more chilly. that in with the veggies. We've got broccoli. We've got broccoli, snow peas, broccoli, snow peas, carrot, beans, a bit of chilli. Little bit of slots. With that. Throw that over the back. Now we've got to cut up a bit of seafood too. All right. Start putting the seafood in that oh, in this bowl. Bit of this sauce in. These are our flathead fillets. Yeah, there's bones up in this area. Cut a bit of that out. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much for this little exercise. Normally, you can get there, cut that bit of bone out. I could have done it when I was filleting yesterday. You know what? Is that going to be enough, you reckon? Um, or a bit more? Oh, it's quite, it's quite ah, we might as well throw it all in. Otherwise, we'd have to take it home and give it to the boss. Yeah. Right. Bones all the way down there. All our marinate. Good, done it. Yeah. All right. Let's fry that up. Put a little bit of oil in. It's getting hot. Here we go. Let's give that a little bit of a heat up. 
You don't get much heat out of these little stoves. They're not too bad, though. Right. Get our veggies in there, too. Now. A little bit, of, little bit of juice there, we can cheat it. Don't let nothing go to waste here, boys and girls. Right, let's get these noodles in. Good if we had a wok burner, but the old little butane stove setup. That's all we got. Coming up all right. Look at that. What do you think, Anthony? Yeah, it's looking good. No, nah. just give me a, where's it, one sec. You keep it on that, mate. I'll just... Cook it away. I'll get in the road for a sec, son. Oh, mate, that's, that is looking nice. Look at that. Look at that squid. Yeah, you can't beat the old squid heads, as long as you clean them up properly. Okay. Noodles are coming up. Give them a couple of minutes and we'll be just about done. We're not timing anything here, guys. It's all by feel today. No kitchen, we're in the back, we're on the back of the work truck. Actually, we're on the back of the six whirler. Now yeah, we just start hooking that into there. Let me scoop here. Probably have all the critics tell us I probably cooked it too long, but mate, we're winging it today. Turn all that off. That's just about done. Let's serve it up. Am I supposed to share it with you, son, or is it just for me? 
You gonna have some? Look at that. The beauty of using the truck as a workbench is you just take back it outside and hose it off for the pressure cleaner. Look at that calamari. Okay. Taste test. Got young Anthony here going to do the taste test. Have a bit of calamari. Tell us what you think, son. Good. Tastes alright? Yeah? Would I, get a, would I get a job up at Wat King or Stir Crazy or one of those shops? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, well I'm going to hook in myself. That fish is good. Is it? Mm. Alright. Well, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell too. Yeah, and hit the bell. Yeah. Get the notifications when we're putting up the next YouTube video. Thanks. See you on the next one. Yeah, Bye. Right.